Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Charles Madowo, and I'm um, one of the lawyers uh, for Mr. Bashir Mohamud's family. And I was also his lawyer. Um, we worked quite a bit together. We just wish to inform you that um, a post mortem has been done on the body of uh, Bashir by the chief government pathologist, Dr. Johansen Odwood. The immediate cause of death, uh, as per the post mortem report, is uh, death by strangulation. But there's also quite a bit of evidence of torture on his body. There are uh, trauma on the head consistent with uh, being hit by a blunt object. There are bands on his body. There is evidence of, you know, uh, torture on his toes and his nails. The postmortem was done in the presence of uh, officers from the DCI, Dagoretti, and officers um, from the forensic department of DCI. What we hope uh, from here on is that a proper inquest will be done um, and um, that the people who are responsible for this shall be brought to book. I think however or whatever the circumstance that somebody finds himself in, we are a country governed by law. Everybody is entitled to due process. And we hope that that due process will be accorded to the family of Bashir and to Bashir as well. But finally, um, the body of Bashir was found in Kerugoya. The pathologists have ascertained that the body was thrown into water after his death. There are samples that have been taken. Um, and so once those samples are analyzed by the government chemist, we will be able now to ascertain properly the time of death. That should be all for me. Maybe a question, a follow-up question. Uh, did he have uh, what called defensive injuries, maybe in his hands also? Yeah, there, there, there was enough evidence of, um, of um, you know, um, cuts on, on, on and bruises on the arms which we must say is consistent with uh, with, 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 with defense. Um, yeah, that that should be. No, there were bands. Uh, they are very consistent round band marks, which perhaps um, could be something round was used to, to, to something round and hot. Uh, like a, you know, the, the, the car lighter uh, was used to to, 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 to to inflict those pains. And then there are also, there's also evidence of um, uh, flame bumps, almost consistent with the, with the, with the, with the lighter or something that, uh, that, uh, that emits a direct, direct flame. Yeah. That conclusion was not made, uh, at least so far as it was not made. I who worked for the government for 30 years and now I'm a senior citizen. Uh, since last day, the day 13th, uh, we have been tortured internally and psychologically. Na ndiyo tunaomba mwenyezi mungu ya kwamba wale walifanya kitendo kama hii Mwenyezi Mungu naye uh, Mwenyezi Mungu awarudishie hawa na he should revenge from them for us eh uh, hii kitu kitendo vile ilisemekana ya kwamba issues like this has been rampant in the country and uh, some people are putting even uh, to the number a high number that you can't imagine that people disappear, extrajudicial killings, and then all these things have been, people were crying all over the country. Uh, this is a country that we know, a country of rule, that the, the judicial process will be followed on all matters that which is there. But uh, the recent issues which are happening is worrying, and uh, everybody is now in a fear in this country. 
that is the reality of the matter because we don't know where it will go next i thought i was just hearing previously i said it came to the doors of my house and uh, in such a situation we say we I, my view and the way i see as being a sociologist i feel that this is not the, the way things should be handled uh, we should not be taken to the walls and uh, these issues like this must come to an end must come to an end uh, so because uh, people are now worried everybody is in fear in a fear we are supposed to be in peace we are supposed to have our rights as enshrined in our constitution and everywhere we will never forgive those who killed Bashir and uh, we expect that God will punish them as quickly as possible we are praying day and night and God will accept our prayers and uh, also for the other Kenyans who have lost and our other people who are citizens of this country and living also we pray for them that God should punish those who are making their blood Leading their blood in we uh, after after prayers, you know after prayers is the, uh, the afternoon prayers. We have uh, uh, prayers. That it will be prayed at funeral prayers. Will be at Masjid uh, Masjid Salam in South Sea, and then after that one we will take the uh, the body to Langata Muslim uh, Cemetery. That is where we are going. Is around Sakumi. That is when we are going to bury him, and we hope for your prayers. Oh, he is, is my, my son-in-law. Whatsoever it is, I have seen that he's a shrewd man, very respectful man, very helpful man, a man who is actually always joyful. I have seen the way I have seen him, and. Uh, I have never seen him to have somebody who actually have a negative uh, phenomenon, a negative character. His characters were all good. You can see the last time his vehicle was there, he was giving money or eat to the people. He's a man of that way, very generous man, very good man, lovely to everybody. That was the way he was. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.